All right, uh, welcome back to another video. It's definitely been a minute, but I am back. Um, I just recently moved out of state and uh, was getting settled into my new place. It took a little longer than I wanted it to, but yeah, I'm back and gonna be you know uploading more regularly and streaming here soon as well. So yeah, stay, stay tuned for that. I was be doing a quick uh, showcase of the end four uh, dot files for, for Hyperland. Uh, if you've watched some of my previous videos, I've kind of been bouncing back and forth between like KDE and, and Hyperlin. Um, so this is the Hyperlin setup I'm kind of trying to configure. And yeah, I really like it so far. And uh, this is a very good, you know, set of dot files here that is pretty like great out of the box. I did make, you know, some you know tweaks here and there to get it to my liking. But overall, you know, I kept things pretty much the way, you know, the uh, end user had it. So... Uh, yeah, it's kind of like jump right into everything. So basically you have um, the bar at the top here. It is actually not a way bar. Uh, they're using uh, AGS for the bar and the actions there. So on the uh, right hand side, if you click over here, you will get your uh, notifications um, and then you also get your toggles up here. So you can toggle you know, your um, internet connection, Bluetooth, uh, night mode, you can toggle game mode for Hyperland um, and then keep the system awake. So that's uh, caffeine. Um, and then you have your notifications there and then the audio controls. You can change your, you know, your source that's coming out and also your out and in for your speaker and microphone. And then we can go to Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi networks as well. So this is all like really clean in the sidebar over here. So I really like it. Then you have some settings here. So there's some quick config settings here. You can change the transparency, blur animations, um, you know, show FPS and some things like that. So they added like some nice, uh, you know, quick items here. It's not as in depth as like the um, my Linux for work dot files as far as like his uh, Hyperland settings um, app, which I mean, you technically could use on here as well, but his comes, you know, pre-installed in his uh, dot files. So it's not as um, configurable as that, but it's still pretty nice to have definitely. Um, they do have a calendar down here and then a little to-do thing. I haven't used, really used the to-do thing at all, but it's nice to to have it there if you want to use it. And the calendar, which is, you know, pretty nice as well. And then in the middle here, you got your, you know, the rest of your bar. So you have your uh, your weather and then your clock. Um, if you do click on anything over here, it does bring up this, you know, panel over here on the side. So pretty much anywhere you click over there does. But on the, so on the opposite side, you actually get a another bar. Um, uh, modal that pops up in this one you can use an AI assistant to which is really nice um, to have I mean you don't have to use this if you don't want to but you know I use um, AI to you know search things and, and uh, you know learn how to do certain things from from time to time so it's nice to have the assistant it has options as well so you can actually put in your, your key if you have like a the Gemini plus um, or if you want to use uh, chat GPT or these other models here they have um, a llama and uh, open AI an open router i'm not sure sure what this one is I actually I've never used that one but but yeah so they have a bunch of different options that you can you know configure and uh, and, and use um, so it's really nice because you can have it just kind of um open so yeah let's say like you're on a web page and you want to search something real quick um there's actually a um key binding for it as well uh which is super a and then so that can bring it open so you can quickly be able to you know start you know, searching something through AI, you know, which is really nice to have that kind of like overlay over top of what you're doing. Um, so it doesn't interrupt what you're, you know, the, the screen that you have there. And then you have the, the tools section here as well. So you can do your quick um, updates. So if I click on this, it'll bring up a, a, a terminal to uh, do my arch, you know, updates there, which is really nice. Um, then you can get rid of orphan packages and also unused uh, flat packs as well. Um, and then it has like this little conversion tool as well, which is kind of nice. Um, and then also a color picker gives you the hex codes and the RGB codes and, and everything uh, there. So I just like the little extra touches and things that he has, you know, added in here to, you know, easily be able to do extra things um, without having to have them as a separate app or anything. So it's just a really nice touch. I do like it. So if I hit the uh, super key here, it shows what I have open um, on all of the workspaces. Um, so on workspace two, I have Telegram open, and then uh, you're looking at workspace one right here, and then uh, Steam is open on workspace three, and then on workspace five, I have my OBS um, open. So it's kind of nice to have this, um, uh, which I can't remember the name of it right now. 
I'll put it on the uh, on the screen here, but um, it is nice to have that that view to be able to see all of your open apps and things and which workspace you have very quickly just by hitting the super key. And then if you start typing, you start typing or you start searching through your applications as well. So if I want to open a specific app, then I could just type in and hit enter, or I can hit the down arrow and you know select the one I want to hit and then hit launch. So yeah, I just I just like the the aesthetics of it. It's clean you know, very easy to use. Uh, the only thing I, I did not like about it is when I install a new app, I do have to refresh the AGS um, every time in order to get the app to show up in this searchable um, apps. Isn't a huge deal because there's just a, you know, a keybind to, to do so, but I, I just found it wasn't the the best Im implementation that you have to re re refresh every time you want to, you know, install a new app and then be able to open it right away. So it's just a slight downside, but not nothing huge. Um, but actually, if I open up um, Genie here, you can actually look at the Hyperland um, configuration here. Uh, so everything's kind of sourced out into different um, config files. So you have your your keybinds, and then you have your your custom ones here. So you can keep your your custom ones separate from the um, original dot files. So if anything updates, you know, it'll keep it because it'll keep it in the custom it won't actually change anything in here um it'll just change what's in the defaults if there is an update to the you know the dot files themselves which is uh which is pretty nice to have um and it's actually pretty clean um i just kind of like it so if i go in the hyperlink folder here um everything's just in you know each one of these uh folders here so i can go in like general and see everything and then uh, all of the things that are opening up um, on startup. Uh, and then I have all the key binds with the key binds are pretty, pretty good. They're actually pretty good out of the box. I didn't have to change too many of them. Um, so they're, they're not too bad. I did have to come out a few because there's some ones that I use uh, different key bindings for, for other things. But um, overall, it was actually pretty, pretty straightforward and pretty clean and uh, not too bad. So it's definitely a good starter too, to kind of learn, you know, Hyperlint as well, because the, the configuration is not, too complicated and everything's kind of divided up into sections so you can kind of find things pretty easy the only thing that's really <laughs> difficult is this this bar up here the ags i didn't like fully understand that i actually get help from a few people in my uh discord um to get a few of the things uh set up because someone else was actually using it already and had some of the things set up like actually changing the date and time up here was uh kind of difficult to do but uh he was able to um give me some of uh what he already had created and so I can get that, you know, set up on my end. But overall, um, I do like it. And I do have my dock down here, like usual, um, as well. So it's really just a really nice and clean um, hyperlink setup that I have right now. And, and it works well with my, you know, workflow and everything. So definitely give the N4 dot files um, a shot uh, if you haven't already. Um, I'll definitely link them in the description below. But yeah, I will be definitely... Um, uploading more often going on and if you like the content please consider liking and subscribing and i'll catch you in the next one peace